From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode is brought to you by the audiobook True Tales of Haunted Places by G. Michael Vasey, narrated by Darren Marlar. Hear a free sample at MarlarHouse.com. Oprah Winfrey is out with her own food line. The media mogul always struggled with her weight, and now she says she's found something that has helped her and she wants to help others live a healthier lifestyle. Winfrey's partnering with Kraft Heinz to create her own food line titled Oh, That's Good. She explained that the recipes will be inspired by the things that she likes to include in her own diet. So if you'd like to lose weight, then gain it all back, then lose it, then gain it, and be on a perpetual weight yo-yo like Oprah, this is the diet for you. The divorce rate in the United States has doubled for couples aged over 50 and tripled for those over 65. Which is understandable. A hundred years ago, when you said, till death do us part, you were thinking you wouldn't live past 50. A Florida middle school will not be moving forward with an initial offer to let kids skip to the front of the lunch line for a fee. Parents of students at Lawton Child's Middle Academy in Lakeland recently received a Parent-Teacher-Student Association sponsorship form sent out to raise money for the school, with one line item promising, among other perks, a front-of-the-line lunch pass with a $100 donation. Dad Chris Stevenson, who told ABC Action News it was not okay for certain kids to be able to get their lunch first based on what their parents pay. Yeah, exactly. I mean, because that would teach kids that those who have money have more power and privilege. And we all know that's not true in the real world. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, over half of us have three or more snacks every day. 56% of us are snacking multiple times a day, up from 46% only a decade ago. But that doesn't mean that we're not eating apple slices at 10 a.m. or munching on carrots at 3 p.m. Instead, we're going to fast food joints, all of which have created snack-size menu items. High-calorie snack-size menu items. So you got three choices. Uh, choose better snacks, stop snacking, or buy bigger belts. An Alabama man has been arrested for hitting his brother with a baseball bat after having to share some food he bought at Taco Bell. You see, I've been saying it for years, Taco Bell is dangerous. Itching is contagious. Well, to be exact, it's highly contagious. When you see somebody scratch, you are likely to scratch too. We've long known that laughing and yawning can be socially contagious. If you see somebody yawn, you yawn. If you see a group of people laughing, chances are you will laugh. The same thing is true for scratching. Previously, researchers assumed that this was all in our minds, but now researchers from the Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis, Missouri, have proven that contagious itching is hardwired in the brain, not a form of empathy. The next time you scratch or yawn in response to someone else doing it, remember, it's really not a choice nor a psychological response. It's hardwired into your brain. Okay, be honest. You felt an itch and scratched while I was telling you all of that, weren't you? Uh-huh, see, I, I, told, I told you it was contagious. A federal judge on Monday said that Costco owed Tiffany $19.4 million in damages for selling counterfeit diamond engagement rings bearing the Tiffany name. The first clue something wasn't legit was when someone saw that Tiffany was being sold at a Costco. Over in the Inverclyde area of Scotland, teachers may have a little difficulty getting all the names right this school year. That's because the area has no less than 13 sets of twins all about to start school there. These 26 children will all be headed to school in September, and administrators can't believe the odds. Amazingly, 164 sets of twins will now be taught in the Inverclyde Council area alone, leaving locals to think there's something in the water. Uh, despite the genetic implausibility, parents of the bunch aren't too worried about teachers telling the children apart especially considering that not all of them are identical. An Ohio couple who went a little too far with a prank have been charged with inducing panic after they faked a murder and sent fake bloody pictures to family members. Mika Reisner and his fiance Natalie Schlett apparently staged her murder by photographing her in a bathtub covered in ketchup. Wow, I guess humor really is subjective. 
Angelina Jolie says she's taking a break from making movies to focus on her health and her kids. Now if we could only get Adam Sandler to do that… While American women see super-thin models and feel unattractive and unhappy about their average or curvy bodies, men don't feel the same way. 80% of men ages 18 to 50 say they want a voluptuous woman, according to former plus-size model Nancy Hasen, author of 101 Sexy Secrets – How to Be Hot, Sexy, and Beautiful at Any Size. Another 15% of men prefer a woman of average size, while just 5% opt for a super-skinny lady. 20 years ago, most fashion models were a size 8. Today, they are a size 0. And get this, a size 14, which is now considered a plus size, was Marilyn Monroe's dress size. So stop looking at the magazines, ladies. There are hundreds of men out there that think you are absolutely drop-dead gorgeous just the way you are. In China, a 6-year-old girl was taken to a hospital for vomiting and nausea. A scan revealed a solid mass in her stomach. The follow-up exam revealed the mass had grown bigger. It turned out to be a six-inch long hairball. Doctors operated and removed the hair, which was the girl's own. People, there are easier ways to get your fiber. A New Mexico man's facing charges of disorderly conduct and indecent exposure after he allegedly urinated on a family at a recent Metallica concert in Arizona. Daniel Daddio was arrested after the family of three told employees at the University of Phoenix Stadium they felt warm liquid washing over their backs and legs. I'm not sure what's more disturbing here, though, that somebody peed on another person or the fact that somebody thought it was okay to bring the entire family to a Metallica concert. If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. If you'd like to become an official weirdo, simply click that subscribe button and notification bell. And while you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you're a weirdo.